welcome to 2022 Heartside Exhibition um, in the Watch House, probably for about the 20th year that we've had it here. Uh, hi, so I'm Gary and I'm one of the uh, tutors at Heartside Studio. And um, what we're experiencing today is our annual exhibition. And I've just brought you here to have a look at the foundation work, which is our um, beginning group. These people have been in for eight weeks. And what we find is through abstraction, uh, people um, can explore paint, explore composition, and explore colour in an intuitive and emotional way um, without having to argue with preconceptions about, about the figurative world and perspective and representation. So that they're very free to develop an understanding of the in, intrinsic qualities of paint. So what all this means is that we don't um, intend to, com to deny a subject with a, with a depth of field or a perspective like these pictures here. The difference is that when the artist is addressing these pictures, their mind is not on the depth of field. Their mind is not on the, the perspective. What their mind is on is the expression of the pain the expression of the colour and the emotional connection with the subject. So you, the audience, sees it as a depth of field, sees it as a perspective, because that's the way you're programmed, but the artist painting it is actually not doing that. They're actually looking for something at a much more emotive level. The expression of paint, the expression of colour, the expression of composition, which is why that they can tackle both things. But we need to um, go through the process that I've explained to allow it to happen. And this is an example of a studio member's work, which is our most advanced level. And I know it looks like it suggests, oh, but there is a depth of field, but we are dealing with objects in space. But once again, like the previous one, it's not what it's about. It's about the feeling of the paper bark forest and the, ta and the entanglement and the expression of the colour and, and the composition. Learning to see Learning to see like a painter is so different to the way that we have learned to see through film, through video, through uh, artwork since the Renaissance. And what we do at Heartstar is tenderly reprogram the way you see reality that enables you to paint. Because those traditions get in the way if you're just, if you're just experiencing the paint. So everyone who starts at Heart Start on, on the whole are beginners. Um, we meet on a Tuesday evening and we have done for many, many years. And if you're inclined to um, understand painting this way, painting from a self-expression rather than painting in an illustrative way, then we meet on a Tuesday night and you're welcome to contact us at Heart Start Studio and apply. Tell us about Heart Start Exhibition. How long has it been existing? Oh wow, probably six to seven years now I started Heart Start. Um, I was an art lover, did HSC art, but life takes you elsewhere and I finally came back and said one day I need to do this and I joined Heart Start and it's been the blessing that I've always needed. Um, Have you enjoyed the abstract? Oh, I love abstract. I oh. abstract Impressionism, uh, first full abstract, but then it, it sort of took me through to other places and looking at things differently. So the realism slightly out of the picture when my brain lets me do that. That is, um, but I so enjoy it, and it is challenging, and I love it because it is challenging, and it puts me into a, a focus and a zone outside of everything else in the world. So yeah, love and do it. you enjoy exhibiting your work and letting oh, others see it? Of course. It. <laughs> I mean, we're all very skeptical of our own. And, you know, sort of uh, talents, and I am, but uh, you know, I hear some lovely things which gives me that little bit of oh wow, I am on, in the right direction, so I'll, I'll keep doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah enjoying it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I do it for the life. <laughs> I started Art Start, Heart Start in 2002. I was very heavily involved in business at the time and I needed something outside of business uh, for relaxation but also to most probably express myself in a different way. 
I have been doing art ever since then, on and off, over the years. I've met so many wonderful people. I absolutely adore doing our art shows here where we display what we do. But I also love the people I've met along the way. Our times in uh, retreat have been very special. There's some incredibly good uh, memories there but my art has developed I enjoy doing what I'm doing and now that I'm retired I find my art is also a retreat from things like COVID and everything else it's lovely to see everybody here today and celebrating our freedoms to be able to show our art again so what got you interested in painting um, well, I moved to Sydney and I really wanted to see what was happening in the left, left side of my brain versus the right side of the brain. Uh, I did a lot of art when I was at school and I needed to revisit that because I'd been doing a lot of left brain work, a lot of legal work. And so, yeah, so I was really excited to um, try something new. How long have you been with Heart Start? Uh, about eight years. I think it's terrific. For me, it was really good going back to basics because um, coming out of school, I sort of haven't done any art since then, so I could go back to basics and really learn how it is to sort of paint. And so going through all the different stages really helped me to sort of evolve and develop. And I think the versatility of the style that is taught through Heart Start really helped me to give lots of options as to which path I could take in, a, in my painting and creativity path. And the exhibition. How long have you been exhibiting your work? Uh, this is probably about my sixth year. Um, very excited because this year I've actually sold a painting. So I um, haven't sold a painting for a few years, but I'm, I'm really excited this year. I've got a number of paintings in there and I, I feel now that I'm sort of really progressing with my style and, and getting more confident and comfortable with where I am with my um, paintings. How do you find Heart Start? Oh, I love it and the reason being is that I'm perplexed. I have option paralysis when it comes to painting and I'm not sure where I should go from start to finish but Rowena and Gary are there, always there to lend an eye and also an ear and they don't direct, they don't make you do something you don't want to do. What they do is they suggest based on your own style where you might want to go and let you figure out the rest. Now, I've had many nights with no sleep as a result, but they are correct. You've got to come to a resolve of your own and they are just fabulous. I love it, I so enjoy it. They're a great team. Gary and Rowena are a really, really good team. They know how to teach without, um, you know, enforcing. They bring out the best in you. So they have a really good technique and we're very, very grateful to them. And of course, the exhibition is the highlight of the year. Yes, love it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been painting with Heart Start for about six months. And what do you think about that? I think it's great. It's a really nice outlet. It's something different, something outside of work, something outside of friends. It's been a really good experience. Hey, I'm an artist and I've come to uh, Balmain Watch House for the Art Smart uh, exhibition and the art is really good um, there's a lot of variety in there and it's good to see the younger younger ones coming through doing their own uh, things and learning from uh, I guess yeah learning along the way uh, and then it's good to see the progression from when they're you know starting to I guess some people have been here for many many years and it's good to see that progression and how people learn how people do it and yeah, everything's really good. Oh, we get together on Tuesday nights and we have a great supper. Supper's great. And uh, a lot of camaraderie and mm. then we get down to business. Great friendships. Great friendships. And um, so, see you then. <laughs>